Hello everyone again and welcome. You're in the right place at the right time for the presentation today by Melissa Armo, the founder of thestocksquish.com. Again, the website, thestocksquish.com, S-W-O-O-S-H, and you can see the, uh, the first slide is already up there. So we are, um, again, scheduled to start in now just five minutes. Five minutes start time here at Online Creator Central. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Hello everyone and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Trader Central. We want to welcome the new folks that have just joined us. We do want to thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation today. Uh, last person to join, Jen just joined us, uh, Martin before that, Dan and many others. This is Online Trader Central. Z Len just joined us. So I think it's about time to begin. Let me see if I can round up the percussion section. Drummers, are you ready? <laughs> Okay, and to the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the sound of the trumpets means it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stocksbush.com. Please welcome. Thank you so much, Kevin and Kathy. Thank you, everyone at onlinetrader.com. Welcome, welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stockswish LLC. And today I'm going to talk about following hedge fund money in the market to make a thousand dollars a day consistently. And actually I'm a day trader. So we're going to be talking about day trading for those of you uh, that are long-term investors or 
uh, do swing trades. The topic really is going to be about day trading to be able to consistently make enough money that you could trade the market for a living. And I have a method to do that that follows hedge fund money in the market, which is, which is power money or what I call power money in the market. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or feel free to go to my website, www.thestockswish.com as well, and like me at any one of these social media places too. All right, so let's get going. Let's talk about hedge fund power. Becoming a successful trader and investor really requires becoming a specialist in defining where the hedge funds are buying or selling a stock. And I think if you want to make money in the market consistently, and the, the key word there is consistently, it, you have to become really an expert or a specialist in something that you're doing in uh, every day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday okay that's how you get the consistency of the money of a thousand dollars a day comprehending how to redefine a trade with the power of hedge funds and institutions will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader why because they have a lot of power and move stocks so i've devised a way to read the footprints of these hedge funds trading in the market this is really how it's possible for one individual like you or me to become successful in the market and not only that to become wealthy if you are trading on the side of hedge fund money all you need to do is ride the coattails of the institutional moves flowing with the power and not against it will produce consistent and large winning trades for you and again the the ideal word there is consistency okay because that's where it really starts to add up and if you want to make millions of dollars in the market, the only way that will happen is if you're trading the side of institutional money. And really, this is, again, hedge fund money. You, huge, huge blocks of positions that come into stocks, whether they are buying positions in stocks or selling them or shorting them, okay? Because hedge funds can short too. That is how you really can just ride the tails and make money as an individual, meaning you don't have to have millions of dollars yourself to be able to do very well in the market. It's about trading with power. Knowing how to read what hedge fund money looks like is essential to becoming a successful trader and you can win big on this side of the power. This is one of the reasons I'm so good at what I do you know, in, in my trading. So ask yourself why you're trading if you are now. Like how much money do you want to make? Why are you doing the moves that you're doing in the market? Uh, why are you taking some of the trades that you're taking? Does the, do the trades you're taking make any sense? Are you trying to make just a little bit of money when you take some of the trades or you want to make a lot? It's really about thinking about what your goals are, okay? Trading on the side of hedge fund money is the only way to make consistent real money in the market. And by real, I mean substantial enough that you could do this for a career. Otherwise, you just get run over, jostled around, and basically end up nowhere, meaning that you would be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Winning, losing, winning, losing, and eventually really just giving money back to the market and commissions. Why trade at all? Well, I decided to trade because I wanted to do it for a career. And if you make a thousand dollars average on a day, you can do this for a career because it totals, you know, 20 grand a month. And that's enough money to earn a living. So for me, I did this and decided to do this and embark on this journey as a career choice. I think the more serious that you take trading, the better that you will become and be. So even if you're doing it part time, you still kind of have to look at it like a career, like a job, a part time job, but still serious enough that you're going to take it seriously about what you're doing, the choices that you're making and the trades and the risks that you're taking. Making $1,000 a day trading is really enough money for an annual income and you can make a career doing this. You can, it is not some crazy notion. Why? Because there's a lot of money in the market. And if you follow what the hedge funds are doing, even for a short time of the day, getting in and getting out very quickly, which is what I do, and we're gonna talk about today, you can make enough money to actually pay your bills. If you think about buying luxury items and you can't afford it, you know, the market, again, has an unprecedented amount of money in it, so you can make more. You can get to the point where you can buy things that you never thought you could afford once you start to get good at trading. Maybe not right away, it's the first day, the first week, maybe in a month, a few months, okay? This is how you get better over time. And for me, when I also started to trade, I really wanted a job with a lot less hours and stress. I did mortgages for a very long time and I was working nonstop, seven days a week. And if you're in this place where you're working nonstop and you don't have a good quality of life because you're working so much, 
you know, this is one of the very appealing things about trading the market as well as a career. If you want to make it happen, you really have to look at the overall bigger picture. If you have any of these dreams about trading the market or more, then you have to look at the bigger picture of how to make these dreams a reality for yourself. I like actually have a plan of action to do it. In the bigger picture, it's important to see the power in stocks in the market as a force, a, a force to be reckoned with. I'm sure many of you know this if you've ever traded and you've had a loss, you feel like the market's a force when it takes your money, but actually it's a force too when it pays you. Okay, and I feel that coming in when I take my trades and I, I make a lot of money really quickly. Stocks in the market have loans of power, momentum, potential, and, and money behind them, okay? And this money comes in through these institutions and mainly hedge funds that are in the market with the banks. It's about having a certain level of respect for this, for the power. And really it's, again, the money and aligning yourself correctly with it. This is a chart of the QQQs. I don't know where we actually closed today. This was earlier, earlier that I did this chart in here. But the market has had a beautiful rally in the last week when it was sideways for quite a while, really almost only back since February. And all the long time I was calling that the market was higher and it finally proved that I was right in the last week. But all along the way in here, I was reading everything that was happening in the QQQ or the overall market sector here, this ETF. And I continued to say that the market was going to lift higher and it, and it, and it finally did it after weeks and months of me saying that. How was I able to predict that this move would happen here? And by the way, this is going to continue. It's because of the fact that I know how to read power money, hedge fund money in the market and saw that it was still there, okay? That it had not sold out of the market and was going to continue to get bought, okay? It's about having respect for the money so that you trade with it correctly. And that in turn will play out in your own profitability. So let's talk about hedge funds here a little bit and the power of them. How much money are we talking about? It's millions of dollars, millions of dollars. In fact, it is billions of dollars. It's so much money that these hedge funds move in the market that it's you can't almost even picture it in your mind. If you try to picture like a vault with all the money in the world uh, that you could try to conceive of it, it's still, you probably wouldn't be able to picture it. We actually stuffed it all into a vault. It's, it's really hard for most regular people to conceive. But that is how much money exists in the market. We, we see that when we see the price action in stocks. So not only is making $1,000 a day realistic in the market, because of the fact there's billions of dollars in, it, in the market, it's doable for anyone who has the right focus and commitment. So I've devised my own method to quantify in the market where the hedge funds are running their money. And I teach a class on how to calculate that. The class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course, and this course teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps by looking at what hedge funds are doing in stocks. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. And the course also teaches you what direction to trade the stock in the day, so you're following with the hedge fund money. You have to be in the position right, whether long or short. The course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, and this is how I trade. So let's look here at BBY. This, was, this is a daily chart, and this is a chart of BBY from last week. It was Friday, okay? So you have to look and say who's in charge. Is there a hedge fund that's taking charge of this here on the day of this? The BBY, this was Friday, okay, was a short, and I shorted this, and we'll go over this trade in a little bit here. But the stock gapped, okay, now, for those of you who don't know, a gap is when the closing price of a stock on one day at 4 o'clock Eastern time is different than the next day when the open happens at 9.30. So BBY closed at like 34 something and then gapped down the next day to 33.50 something. Okay, So it gapped. You look at the gap in BBY where it's trading and you have to determine then, and I have my method to do this, if the hedge funds are going to buy this or are they going to sell it or short it. Okay. And you need to know that before this all takes effect. Because you can see here now that BBY opened around 33.50 something and dropped a dollar something on the day. So you can see that it fell. If you had bought this on the day, you would have lost money. If you had shorted it as a trader, as a day trader, you would have made money. So you've got to determine who's in charge here. Are the hedge funds coming in to buy this BBY today or are they going to sell it or short it? 
Here's another good example here. This is SWI. This again is another gap from Friday too. Stock closed up here around 47 something and gap down here to run $40. And this is, had a massive move. The stock ran more than $5 in the day. Again, who is in charge? What did hedge funds do with this SWI? This is a ticker symbol. Again, this is a daily chart. They sold out of this stock on the day. So if you went to buy this as a trader, you'd be against what the hedge funds were doing and you would have lost money. You had to be on the side of the power. The power was the selling action. And that's why the stock dropped $5 in the day. Again, the idea is to take the trade at a good price so that you can get this move before it happens. Okay? And I have a method to define that before the stock actually even opens. It's really reading the footprints of what a hedge fund is doing. And I do this looking at the pre-market data of when a stock is gapping. And you can also do this with ETFs, and you can do it with the market, like I look at the QQQs, for example. When I say you're reading the footprint, you're reading when the money steps in, okay, or steps out. In the case of Netflix here, this is a good example of hedge fund money coming into Netflix, okay? This is a daily chart of Netflix. This is way back in April. This was an earnings gap on Netflix. The stock had closed here and gapped up overnight. Now the price difference over here is off because the stock now has had a differentiation in the uh, cost of it since last week, since the earnings last week. But the concept still is that the stock got bought in this gap that happened back here in April. So the institutions and hedge funds bought Netflix back in April. They also bought it here last week, okay? So this action in here creates a footprint where the buying comes into the stock and this is a Netflix and so you could have bought Netflix on this day or even for the longer term or you could have bought it on this day as a day trader even for the longer term. So my method tells you that you could buy Netflix or sell it on this day before this move happens. Okay, because again after it happens it's too late. You want to get in the trade during the day on the live day is a day trade in the morning so you can get it before all of this buying has come into the stock. So how can I tell the footprint of power of these hedge funds? I, I have a rating system that quantifies what the stock is going to do in the day. I design a method to find stocks to trade that have number one a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, number two big moves on the day, number three early confirmation of my bias in the move between 9 30 and 10, and number four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. And that is what my method defines because this helps you have the consistency to be able to make $1,000 a day if that's your goal. So I have a checklist. The checklist tells me what stock to watch, okay, and what direction to play in. And I consistently use this checklist every day, every day of the week, to help me determine what stock I'm supposed to watch whether I'm supposed to watch Netflix or whether I'm supposed to watch SWI or whether I'm supposed to watch BBY. So I know which one. And then I watch it on the day and the checklist tells me the direction that I should do with it, whether buy it or sell it. Because it is hedge funds and big, big institutional money in the market that actually makes these gaps and moves them. And that's how you can make money. You've got to pick the right direction to play the stock or you're not going to make any kind of money consistently, whether it's $1,000 or even $100 a day. And the fact that the stock is gapping, it's an event that's happening, a price event in the daily chart of a stock. And it creates a sense of urgency in the stock. Whether it's panic selling or panic buying, this gap event is forcing participants of the stock to take action and do something. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. And why I trade a different stock every day. Every day I trade a different ticker symbol because I never know on any given day what's going to be gapping. So trading gaps is a very powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money, which is again institutional money in the market, which is again hedge funds, okay, and banks even in the market too. Now what do I mean by golden gaps? This is what I name my system, but it's really a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. So I'm looking to go long if it gaps up, if it meets the 26 point criteria, or I'm looking to short it if it gaps down, if it meets the 26 point criteria. It's really called a golden gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. And by that, again, I mean, you know, hedge funds, hedge fund traders. 
In the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock, therefore the stock moves higher on the trading day. And in the case of a bearish gap, professionals are selling and are shorting the stock, therefore the stock moves lower on the trading day. This is really why I prefer bearish gaps though, because gaps that gap down have two things happening in them to create the gap. So I prefer to short, okay? I like shorts because they have double the potential for the move because they have the selling action and the shorting action, okay? So that's what I really, really like about my uh, preference to short, but you can go long, the same thing. So my strategy really directs you to trade on the side of hedge fund money. And it's about having a set of principles for why you're doing the trade at all. Otherwise, you'll never be consistent. You'll never be consistent or be able to do this for a career. As I said, whether it's $100 a day or $1,000 a day, if you don't know exactly why you're doing something. And a system helps you do that. My rating system helps you stay structured. And you have to know why you're doing it and have conviction, this is why I'm doing this. I have 100% conviction the stock rates this and the hedge funds are going to come in and buy it or sell it. And therefore, I'm going to go long it or short it. What are the underlying principles behind why you're taking a trade? If you are a trader now, you have to think about this. What's the reason? What is the framework for buying something or selling something or even shorting something? Having a checklist, like I do, is like your own set of principles. It's a blueprint. It's a blueprint that tells you what to do and how to follow the stock correctly on the day. And having a focus is extremely, extremely important. Now I have this drawing here. I made these circles because it, it differentiates where most people are at with their trading and where, where, where I am at, okay? So like here's me. Every day I get up, I'm looking, I use my 26 point rating system to find a golden gap. I'm looking for what the hedge funds are doing on the day. Are they gonna buy or sell the stock? And every day I get up, and I'm looking for the exact same thing. I'm looking for this exact same red circle every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I either find it or I don't. There's some days I may not see anything that the hedge fund is gonna do with the stock on a day. Then I don't trade that day. But I have a set thing I'm looking for that's the same every day, okay? And this is the rating system. Now this over here might be a completely different person. This isn't me. They get up every day and they're looking for something different. Maybe the market looks higher, so they look for a long. Maybe the market looks lower, so they look for a, for a short. And by the way, most people can't read the market accurately every day, so then the traders are usually off with that. Maybe one day they're doing uh, scalping, okay? Maybe one day they are doing, uh, you know, buy setups or something. Maybe one day they're doing uh, climactic types of trades. Every day they're, they're buying support over here. Every day they're doing something different, okay? buying and selling and shorting and doing different things in a million different stocks with the market against the market all over the place, not looking for the same thing every day. Whereas I have this. So because I have the consistent eye, I have the consistent money. So I'm consistently looking for the same thing. When I find it, I make the money. When I am consistently looking for the same thing with my eye, therefore I have the consistency with the profits. Many people are not consistently profitable because they're doing a single, a different thing every day. I get up and some days if I don't find what I like, I don't do anything. So do you see the difference in this and this? It's, it's like common sense. It's actually very clear, uh, but many people just don't trade like this. But this is where you wanna be if you wanna be profitable, okay? And I, and I don't care on what level you wanna be profitable. Whether it's $100 a day, $1,000 a day, or $2,000 a day, this is where you gotta be to make it in the market. This kind of jerky action gets you nowhere, okay? You have less losses when you have focus, and it also takes away the anxiety of what direction to enter trade. You know that you're gonna go long this, or you know that you're gonna go short this, okay? Now let's look here at the ones from Friday. I did talk about this SWI earlier. SWI gap down, and I rated the gap using my 26 point rating method in the morning to determine if this was a long or a short. I determined it was a short, so the stock actually ended up playing out as a short. It was a really, really big short actually. But I looked at this before the open to determine what it would do. So it's, I'm predicting it because after the fact, it doesn't do no good, okay? Here's a one minute chart of this. So now as a day trader, I trade in the one minute chart, but my strategy, my system is looking for what the hedge fund is doing in this chart. But then on the one minute chart, I'm taking the entry, okay? So the short was right in here, boom, out of the gate in SWI. 
and it literally fell off a planet. And this is a great, great, great example of the power of hedge fund money selling out of a stock, okay? Actually, the stock opened and swooshed. And that's something I'll go over in another webinar, but it's a play that I do in the market. It's something that happens that I created that actually is what I named my company for. This move, okay, was phenomenal. And it happened very quickly. Do you see the drop down here happened within 10 minutes? And you could have reshorted it in here again too. So let's look at the trade. The short was you shorted it at $40. The risk was 50 cents. If you took 1,500 shares of this and risked $750, this is not the low of the day. This is just into the first drop. And the next target would have been 37 bucks. You could have made $4,500 just in 10 minutes. And this is what I'm talking about about the power of being on the side of what a hedge fund is doing. Because you would never make in 10 minutes, you know, over four grand if you didn't have power money pushing the stock like that. And it pushed it all day, because actually the low of the day was like 35 something or whatever, okay? So this is how you can do it. But you've got to find the SWI in the day. And there are many, many stocks actually that gap. So it's not just even finding stocks that gap, that gap down or up, and then buying them or shorting them. You have to quantify them because there's many things that gap. And many things that gap, I don't touch and wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. And you've got to know how to find them and then also take the entries in them. Now, there was a second play in SWI. I call the second play in this right in here. So this is the first play you're out then it rallied back again we're on a one minute chart here and the short was right in here many people wouldn't have thought to even short this again probably would have thought that the stock was done for the day or that it could, was supposed to get bought because of the huge drop off that it had but the answer is no how did i know that to call this trade because swi per my golden gap 26 point rating system rated as a short and it was going to play out as such. And therefore, it was something to short because of the selling action and not to buy. Okay? And I'm sure people tried to buy this climactic in here that are day traders. And they got stopped out. And here's the big red bar going through the low of the day over here after 1030, which people that bought this in here, which was a terrible thing to do. It was a short. Anyways, here's the short trade in this. And here's a drop off in here. So you could have done this twice, here and here. If you did the second trade, it was $38 was a short. Stop was better, it's 25 cents, risk needs to be the same. All of your risks in your trade should be close to the equal. So 3,000 shares is a $750 risk on SWI. Exits 36 bucks, because that was one of the next targets. But it did go to 35 something. In this trade alone, you could have made $6,000. Time in the trade that was longer, you're in it for an hour and 10 minutes. This is a later time in here to take a trade but you could have done it and you could have done it and held it down for huge profit. So if you did the first trade and made $4,500 in this and risked 750 bucks and did the second trade, you could have made $6,000 and risked 750 bucks and the total profit in this would have been $10,500. So you could have made $10,500 in one day of work in SWI. You would have had to risk $750 in the first trade. You would have been up by the time you took the second trade, even if the second trade failed, which it did not, you still would have been up in the day over three grand. And this is the power of trading on the side of hedge funds that move stocks in the market. This is the power of what I know, that I can pick the right thing every day to know what to do, to short it or buy it, because I quantify the gap. There are many stocks that gap all day long in the market. The market gaps every day, and many of them don't set up right, don't work right, and don't do things they're supposed to do. But I have a method that I use consistently to do it. And I've been doing it now for seven years, okay? Now let's talk about shorting a little bit here. Again, SWI is a perfect example of how shorting can happen so fast for you to make money. Uh, it's not that I don't like to go long, but I really prefer to short just because of the fact that shorts happen and come in and take over stock and the selling can happen so quickly. So something could run and drop and go two, three, four, five dollars in the day like that very, very quickly and out of the sky. And all the move that that SWI made in, was in the morning. I mean, literally, it set the low of the day in the morning. So who made SWI fall on the day? Regular traders? No. Regular traders did not make it fall on the day. 
hedge funds and institutions that sold out of their positions in SWI made that stock drop like that in the day. No amount of traders could have shorted that and made that move down in that stock in the day. Okay, That was hedge fund money that was selling out of it. Very, very, very powerful. Now, does anyone have any questions before we go over the next trade here? Talking, talking. Does anyone have any questions while we're going along? Okay. The next one here that I want to talk about, again, was BBY. I mentioned this earlier. This was another beautiful, fabulous gap from Friday as well. The stock closed up here the night before and gapped down here and had a nice sell-off on the day. So you would get up in the morning, look for BBY to determine what you want to do with this buy it or sell it or short it, and it was a short. So as a day trader, you would have looked to short the stock on the day. So I'm looking to get in on the one minute chart, find the gap on the daily, and then look to get in on the one minute chart, okay? And here's BBY, a short was here, and it dropped. And actually this you could have stayed in even longer too, as you see this went to a bigger target as well. This went into the afternoon though. This did not set the low of the day in the morning. You would have had to held this through past one o'clock to get this bigger move. But as a day trader, all I do is just need my money out. Thousand dollars out. Boom, out. Okay? And that's what you do. You just go in every day and take it and done. Take it and done. Take it and done. The price of the entry was $33.25. Risk was 25 cents. If you took 2,800 shares, you're risking $700. Exit was $32.90 into the first drop. So you could have made a total profit of this in 10 minutes, and that's what I did. I'm just showing you my PL here. So I had 2,800 shares of BBY on Friday and had my goal done. So it's, it's just one of these things where if you really want to trade very, 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 very quickly every day, you just up the money, you're up the money you want to make, you're done. Okay? Sometimes it happens in five minutes. Sometimes it happens in 10 minutes. And if you want to hold things longer later into the later period, you can do that, okay? Like BBY did go down, like I said, until after one o'clock. You could have held it for a bigger move. But if you could trade consistently every day and just chunk it out and make $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, I call it chunking it out, all of a sudden you have a month, okay? Now, you have something like SWI that just falls out of the sky. Obviously, you follow it down. But this idea of taking a trade and honing in the way that I do, I'm, I'm just so focused that I, I see the move the stock is making. I see how it's acting. I see how it's trading. I do what I take the trade. I see the money up, I'm up. I know my goal for the day. I know the, the numbers. I know the targets. I'm very, very, very precise in what I do which is one of the reasons why I'm able to be so consistent. And I say to people, you know, you can be perfect for a period of time every day. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, you can. I am when I trade in that beginning time period. I, you, I am perfect for one hour. And you can be that way too. It's challenging to be perfect from 9.30 to 4. It's too long of a time of that expectation of yourself, okay? So how much money can you make trading gaps? Infinity, infinity and beyond. There is no limitation to what you want to make. It does have to do with how much you want to risk, okay? But as you increase your risk, so you will make more as well, it has to do about the size that you take in the trades. Whether you take 1,000 shares or 5,000 shares and something drops a dollar and you're short, you can make $1,000 or $5,000. It's a big difference. So it has to do with your sizing, the share sizing you take. And it really all comes down to correctly reading the side of money. The side of the real money in the market, which is in hedge funds and really institutions that are in the market because they move stocks like BBY and SWI. And I'm reading the price correctly when I'm determining whether I'm shorting it or buying it. And I'll, I'll step back from something. If I see that a hedge fund is going to buy it, even if it's gapping down, then I won't short it. Okay? You've got to really know how to read price correctly to know what to do. So what I do is I trade a, saint that, a, a system that reads the side of institutions in the market. I do it all year long. I do it every day, okay? And that's how I'm able to be consistent with my profits and everything that I do with my trading. 
So the class I teach is called, my system is called the Golden Gap System. And as I said, it is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And that's how you get there. $1,000 a day, how are you gonna get there? Consistency, consistently doing the same thing every day, consistently looking for the same criteria every day, just like the circles, okay? Consistently having the same goal every day and making sure that you book the money when you're up that amount of money, okay? Not giving it back to the market and also stopping after you have that amount of profit. So how are you gonna get there? You're gonna learn how to trade in the side of institutional money, learn how to read power money in a chart, learn how to read the trend, learn how to read price, and learn a system and a method that teaches you all of the above and more, which is my system. You really gotta focus on the right information if you want consistent profits. It is not about moving averages, it's not about Fibonacci's, it, it's about the price, okay? That's, it's really, really very common sense oriented. Again, looking at the price of what the stock is doing in the gap. And gaps show you price on an advanced level, which allows a trader to predict the move the stock will make before it does it. Trading gaps is a quality strategy because gaps are created by institutional money and hedge fund money. And knowing this helps you get conviction to trade. And then you take the trade and you take the risk that you need to make the profits. Trading gaps is a powerful strategy and this is how professionals trade. You can use a sophisticated level of price information to enter trades and take sizable positions. So taking sizable positions really is what's gonna help you attain the income level you dream of, okay? Whatever that happens to be. But you know, making $20,000 a month is certainly a nice income for most people. This method, this system that I trade is something that I teach and it is, is, it's a skill. It's a skill-based system and it's something that you definitely can learn. If you wanna take my class, you can learn the 26-point checklist and then that tells you what to focus on. It's the right information, whether or not you should watch BBY or SWI or what specific stock that you should be looking at that day, whether to buy it or sell it. And again, it's a skill. It's a skill set. Many, many people want these, uh, you know, fantastic types of things. The, their expectations are all out there. Just buying a, I'll just buy a black box thing or I'll just buy this indicator. I'll just buy this or I'll just buy that. I'll just plop it on my screen, whatever. Or, you know, it's not that way. This is a skill-based system. You learn the points, and then you go in and you rate the gap each day to determine which one to do. So again, I teach a class, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you what direction to trade the stock of the day, and the course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. Does anyone have any questions while I'm talking here? So if you're thinking about learning my method, why would some of the reasons be to take my class? Well, to learn a strategy that you can use to make money in the US stock market, because that's what I'm doing. To learn a strategy that offers momentum moves in stock every day. To learn how to trade gaps. If you don't know what a gap is, you'll learn from me. To learn how to read charts with advanced technical analysis, which is what I do every day. To learn a strategy that is profitable on multiple time frames, the, the one minute, the two minute, the daily. To learn how to read stock charts and price patterns, very important. To learn how to pick which symbol to trade in the day, because I trade a different symbol every single day. To learn how to enter the stock and determine the targets, which many people do not know how to do. And to learn a new career that you can do from home. And, and I trade from home, which is very nice and very convenient. And certainly to be able to make this kind of money and, and this kind of time frame and to be able to work from home is extremely convenient. So my class teaches one solid strategy, which is gaps, multiple entries and plays, how to trade the open, which the trades I showed you were into the open after 9.30, how to book money consistently intraday in stocks, advanced chart reading skills, and then basically really how to get conviction in trading and the market as a source of wealth. And I think there was a lady that just, she just did the class. Uh, I told her, she has to write a testimonial. She just did my class. She did a trade today and she made over $1,900. And she was so ecstatic. She wrote about it in the room and I shared it with the room. Once you get to the point where you see that kind of money in a couple of minutes, it is amazing how, how terrific it feels. And then you really start to get conviction in the market. And then you know you can do it. The problem is that many people never, never get enough knowledge and never learn enough and have no idea what to do or what stocks to watch to even kind of make that money. So then nobody ever has conviction that 
that they can. Once you have that kind of day and more and, you know, a lot of days like that, you really realize that the market is something that can pay you. And then you see the power of the market and the power of my system and, and the power of what hedge funds can do in stocks, how they move them and how you don't want to be against them. You have to be with them. It's the only way to make money. So taking a class and educating yourself really can help you become a better trader. And like the example I just used today, I mean, that almost paid for my class, the trade the lady took today. But she knew what to do. She learned it. She, she uh, you know, followed the things that I was saying. And that's really all they have to do. Looking again at the bigger picture, I talked about this earlier. One important key factor in becoming a successful trader is keeping in mind the bigger picture while living in the now. You can live in the now with your daily trading decisions, but keep the bigger picture in mind of where you want to go and who you want to become as a trader. If you do not keep the bigger picture in mind, the market will consume your daily thoughts and you will never reach the bigger picture goal. Trading is a career choice and a lifestyle choice in the bigger picture. Many traders forget about this in their day-to-day -day activities, and you can't. You can't because the fact is you do need to have your goal in the bigger picture that you want to be successful and you want to learn it, okay? Learning it and knowing what to do will help you be successful in the bigger picture. If you're too short-minded and you don't want to educate yourself on how to learn how to do it, you're never going to, you're never going to make this money and you're never going to make it consistently. And so it's like, what's the point? It's like a waste of time. You don't want to go for the, just the quickies. You want to go for the bigger picture, which is making money in the market over the long haul. Something you can do for the rest of your life. Something you can do as a career and actually sustain yourself that you know that you could quit your job and actually day trade for a living. How do you know when you get to that point when you're consistently doing it? And you know that your system works and you have conviction in it and you see it happen. You see it manifest itself and play out so many days. And then you have the money too backing it up, which helps the confidence and conviction that you have. Okay. It is a career choice if you want to day trade to make $1,000 a day. And again, it is possible and something to do. If you're one of those people who's looked at the time of the year, I can't believe half the year has gone by, but it has. Already now I'm starting to think, what do I got to get done now by the end of 2015? And what do I want to start doing for 2016? You know, look at this. Where do you see yourself in six months in a year? Five years, 10 years? Is this too far off to consider? It's not, okay? Time really, really flies. Half the calendar year is over. If you've been thinking about learning how to trade for six months or even following me for six months, I know some of you come back to many of my webinars. Some of you have been following me since the beginning. I, I, I think that's adorable, but I just wonder how many of you are going to follow me until I'm not teaching anymore <laughs> and never get to learn from me. You know, it's like time keeps going on and I'm getting better and I'm making more money and people are making money with me. And you have to think, like, what am I doing with my life? And if you're trading and losing, you have to take a, a step back and really kind of decide what is it that I want to do, okay? Kathy, I just saw the microphone go on and off. Am I still talking here? Can you still hear me? That was weird. I don't know what happened. But before you know it, okay, the, the year could be gone. The year could be up. So you really, really have to think about what you're doing because time keeps ticking on. Kathy, can you hear me? Yeah, that was weird. I just, I just saw the thing go. Another thing to think about is what is your plan for retirement? And I ask this now because a lot of people, you know, are concerned. They're not getting uh, the same type of raises that they used to be. They're not getting the 401k matches, okay? Rates and IRAs and things are nowhere near what they used to be years in the past. It's, it's challenging for young people to save for retirement or think about retirement, you know, and if you're in your 30s or 40s, you got to st start to think about these things. Traders tend to be too short-sighted, okay, and, and I, don't, I don't know why that is except for the fact that obviously we all want to make money, but if you're too short-sighted, you actually won't make money on the day or even in the long haul, so it's like a catch-22, Eric is saying, do I have testimonials on YouTube? No, but there are testimonials on, I think it's Investimonials. Kathy, what's that one website? Mm. There are testimonials on, I think, another some, some other site. I think it's called Investimonials. Kathy, could you look that up and just double check that? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. If anyone would like that information exactly, you can email me. It's a completely different site altogether. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you'd like that information, but I think it's in Vestimonials, Eric. 
If you want to be wealthy, and again, this, this is, means different things to all of us. You really need a plan of action. Somebody asked me this this morning. He asked me, what do I consider, what do I consider to be wealthy? And I, and I answered it. And he was like, whoa. He was like, that's mega wealthy. And I was laughing and chuckling to myself because you probably had no idea the number I was, I was going to say. But it's really interesting because unless you're born into money or win the lottery, no one becomes wealthy overnight. Okay? Just be realistic. If becoming wealthy is one of your goals and if what is one of the reasons that you want to trade, which is one of the reasons I wanted to trade, then you need a plan of action. Every trader should have a trading plan they follow, but a plan of action is more than a trading plan. A plan of action sets your course to achieve your goals and it's down on paper, okay? And that's the great thing about my 26-point rating system. It's down on paper. You can fill out the sheet. You do the worksheet every day. You're looking for the points. You rate the gap. It's right there in front of you. How much are you risking? Initial risk, second risk, first place, second play, target. It's all there. And you, that's, that's your trading plan. And day after day, you do it on the sheet. So first things first, decide if you want to trade and why. And then you have to decide how much you want to make trading. And then you have to decide how you're going to get there, okay? And know what that is. So what's the plan of action to trade successfully to make $1,000 a day in the market? Number one, take the Golden Gap course if you want to learn this method from me. Number two, learn how to trade on a demo. Even You can do this for a month, not forever. Maximum time in a month on a demo. Start trading a live account risking beginner risk. Move to intermediate risk then advanced risk. And having a plan of action in place to achieve your desired monetary monthly goal on a quarterly basis for the first year. And then annually after that. Once you reach your annual trader's income goal, then you've got a lot of choices. I mean, then you can just incre continue to increase your goal as you see fit, okay? Can you make millions of dollars trading? Is it possible? Yes, it is. I have made some million dollar calls. I, I really have. Some of them have been some overnight calls. Netflix was one of them. The market's gonna be one of them. It's playing out right now. I've made some of these calls that if people have been with me back when I made them, which I do have some people back then, you, you could, if you had taken the calls, okay, they were massive trades. And I call them million dollar calls because they don't happen that often, but they're, I've made some massive calls. One call that I've made that is playing out is the market. And some people are in that as an overnight trade right now. Netflix was another one, okay? So it is definitely possible to make millions of dollars trading in the market. Trading is really just a lifestyle choice. Do you want to work all day? Do you only want to work a couple hours? Do you want to work a little bit in the morning and be done for the rest of the day and just make $1,000 and just chunk it out? Okay, I personally do not want to work for 8, 10 hours a day anymore. I like the idea of working very quickly and being done. So give yourself an edge with the Stock Swoosh Gap strategy. If you're interested, you can email me at melissa@thestockswoosh.com. Remember, hedge funds and institutions have billions of money. You've got to learn how to trade on their side. This is very, very realistic. And my class that I teach is a complete system which teaches not just which stock to pick, the direction to trade it, also the entries and the targets. And then it teaches you how to read charts. My class is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. If you want to take it, you can be anywhere in the world and take it. The class is online. It's this weekend, July 25th and 26th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $34.99. You can email me for any other upcoming dates if you can't make the July class. However, I'm offering a special. All new students of the Golden Gap course in July receive the Wealth Manifestation course free. So if you do the Gap class this weekend, you will get the Wealth class for free. This is a trading psychology class. It's a three-hour course that really talks about mind and money and how it affects you in the market and your trading. I also teach another course on long-term trends called the Trends Course. This is next week, July 28th and 29th from 12 to 4. Cost of the class is $9.99. This is a course on how to read trends in stock charts. You can contact me at Melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information on that. And again, I'm running a special. If anyone's interested, you can do both my classes, the Golden Gap course and the Trends course, and save $4.99, and you would also get the Wealth class for free. So the total savings would be almost $900. So you get three classes for $39.99, and you can do them all then uh, in a month. So empower yourself today with information. Being a trader in the summer is a fun job. It's fun because it's beautiful out, and I don't want to sit in an office all day, and luckily I don't have to. So your path to success is a Golden Gap course. Thank you so much. And let me just see if we have any questions. 
Uh, Pat, Kathy's putting the testimonials in here. Let me just see. I don't even know if I've read all of these. Let me look. That was so nice of you, Kathy. It, I think the site is... I think the site is... Uh, someone can email me if you want more testimonials. This is one from... This is Jaguar Paw. Jaguar Paw has been doing phenomenal. Jaguar Paw, I, for those of you that are on my email list, is the one that he doubled his account size. I don't know if it was last month. It was either May or June. He made 50% of his account value. Uh, Jaguar Paw said, first of all, I feel so blessed for having you in my life. It wasn't too long ago that I started trading again after a period of difficult times. For the most part, I was flat, but after gaining experience in the room combined with the knowledge gained in the gap class, I was able to break out of this and finally start making solid profits. You've helped me improve so much with the progress I've made so far is reflected on my account, which by the way is up 48%. Yeah, that's what I thought. He was the one that made 50%. I will never get tired of saying how privileged I feel for knowing such a wonderful person. Oh, that was cute. And having you as my mentor. You trade with the accuracy of a sniper. I definitely do that. <laughs> and is your expertise and the valuable lessons you provide in the room what has given me the tools and the conviction I need in order to trade like a pro? That was a testimonial. I don't know where Kathy got that. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Yeah, in testimonials. Nice. I do trade like a sniper, though. Jaguar Paw was right. There was a good reference because I go in and I grab the money, just like you saw in the trades tonight. Does anyone have any specific questions about gaps or about my strategy or my class? Eric had asked for testimonials. Kathy put some in the room there. And again, you can go to investimonials.com and just look up the stock swoosh. Thank you. All right. Well, if anyone would like more information, you can always email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. And you also can go to YouTube if you want to subscribe. Just go to uh, the YouTube site, look up the Stock Swoosh on YouTube, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And just subscribe to it. Any, anytime I do a webinar, or plays of the days, or market calls, the videos will be posted on YouTube, and they will be emailed to your inbox. You're welcome. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Have a great night. You're welcome. Bye-bye.